Hello, I'm Knoxville Mayor Bill Haslam, and I'm pleased to be talking about Knoxville's designation as a solar city. When the Department of Energy set up the program, it was based around the idea we want to make solar market competitive. And they designated some cities that they thought were making great strides in modeling out what that behavior would look like. Most of those 12 were cities on the coast who you'd typically think of as being associated with innovation uh, in energy use. And I think the fact that uh, Knoxville, Tennessee was listed might have caught some people who were on the forefront of the solar uh, initiative around the country, like maybe by surprise, but we like that. Like I said, we want to be a model city for answering the country's problems. I think one of the reasons Solar America Cities thought that Knoxville was a good candidate is all the partners we do have working here from the Oak Ridge National Lab, Southern Alliance for Clean Energy, TVA, KUB. There really is a great group of partners who are meeting regularly with specific targets for how to make that work. The nut to crack is making this be market competitive. That's why we want to play a leadership role now with the grant that we've been given, is to begin that process. I think one of the things you're seeing now is the, the still the early stages, but the, the real beginning of a solar industry in Knoxville, people who are um, actively engaged in what, you know, in, the, in, in what you'd call a green job related to solar. And, and we, we couldn't have really said that a couple of years ago. Our, our new transit center will be uh, partially solar powered. We're excited about that. It's city government modeling that ourselves, but it's not just us. We have some homeowners that are beginning to build solar into their plans. We have some businesses. I think you're starting to see it trickle out into the, uh, into the greater uh, community. Uh, it doesn't seem nearly as foreign as it did before. A lot of that's around education. A lot of that's around having some early implementers that are actually doing it that you can grab somebody by the hand and go show them. A lot of the government projections are that solar will be cost competitive by 2015. Uh, and if we can help be a part of that process, well, that's a good thing. The bottom line is this, we face you know, some real uh, energy problems uh, long term uh, and the more we can be sustainable ourselves, the less we rely on you know, overseas sources, the better we're going to be. Uh, and second, in the end of the day, I mean, like I said, we all care what kind of world our kids and grandkids live in. And this is a specific way that we think we can help.